And tonight, Norfolk Southern is hoping some new technology that they hope will lead to safer railways. Today, they unveiled their newest train inspection portal in Jackson. Anthony Montalto was there to see it in action and joins us in studio to tell us more. Anthony, how does it work? Well, Camila, here is some slow motion video of a train going through this portal and you can see the lights flashing on so all kinds of cameras can start scanning the train. It's kind of like an automated toll plaza on the highway, but instead of scanning a plate and sending you a bill, this system scans for problems with cars and sends a note to maintenance. Juliet was built by the railroad. And inside the town's original railroad depot, Mary Beth Odom built her business. Going on six years here, um, absolutely love being here and all the people that I meet. Odom caters to the town and especially tourists. Thank you. They flock here to experience the 1991 movie Fried Green Tomatoes. Then they have to just run outside. They flock to one of the many trains that pass daily. When I kind of tune them out, but it is, it's, it's pretty much constant. You know, which is which is actually kind of nice because the tourists come here and they get so excited when they hear the trains. About 15 miles north near Jackson, Norfolk Southern is working to make sure those trains keep passing through on schedule. Friday, they unveiled new technology that scans trains for problems while they're in transit. Finding things when they're really small, it's stuff that's often hard for an individual to see, sometimes impossible for a person to see. When a train passes through one of their portals, lights flash on and cameras start rolling from nearly every angle, scanning each car. The company says they take about a thousand pictures per rail car. We have created a set of 40 very robust AI algorithms that look at that imagery and analyze them for emerging conditions. They look for cracks, missing parts, or other signs of possible trouble. If the problem is severe enough, maintenance can get an alert within minutes. It's very impressive, and it does its job. So tourists visiting Mary Beth Odom and Juliet can keep getting their train fix. I'm kind of blown away by it. I've never seen anything like that. I never even thought about something like that being possible, but I think it's great. Now, John Fleps with Norfolk Southern says they chose this spot near Jackson because they have so many trains running between hubs in Macon and Atlanta. Now, their other portal is near East Palestine, Ohio, the site of last year's derailment. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, Anthony. The company plans to have six sites up and running this year. They're set to have 17 by 2026. 20,